Coming to you live from Music City, USA, it's Nashville Entertainment Weekly. I'm Chris Burks, along with your hosts, TJ Case and Jill Sanabanez, who are in the invitation-only studio high atop the city, overlooking everything that is Nashville Entertainment. Your swagger. No, he ain't got that little clip in his chin. He ain't no way better. Cause you're the baddest country boy. Sweet as sin. The 515 Studio is a spacious, fully functional, state-of-the-art recording studio located in the township of Berry Hill in Nashville, Tennessee. We've been serving songwriters and recording artists worldwide since 2002. Our creative goal is to continue to provide the highest quality and most competitive music products and services for our clients. Our business ideal is to always treat others with the love, respect, and dignity we feel all persons deserve. We faithfully continue our daily resolve of providing our clientele great music at fair prices with honesty and integrity. TJTV, Nashville's number one entertainment network. Join us at the cool table where everyone wants to be. Hey everybody, this is TJ Cates with another episode of Nashville Entertainment Weekly. We're at the 515 Studios today. Who are we with? Jill Sanabanez and Love Collide. Hi. Thanks, girls. This is probably the third or fourth time that you've been on our shows mm -hmm. and talked to us, and you have so many things going on. I'm going to let Jill kind of take it over, because I know y'all did like a pre-interview while we uh, were doing the cameras, right? Yeah, now. well, just so everybody knows, Brooke and Lauren, introduce yourselves. Mm -hmm. Your names are... I'm Lauren. I'm Brooke. You used Wonderful. to be, get them confused, and now they've done this makeover where they look totally <laughs> different. Yeah. Little different. There's There's short hair, confusion hair. Yeah. Yeah. We did the same thing. We used to have the right. same hair. Now it's People quite confuse different. you all the time. It's they kind of do. <laughs> it happens. It happens. Let's talk about you. Okay. <laughs> so uh, we are currently going through the process of uh, finishing up our album. Um, and our album is actually really unique. We're, we're kind of a... We're kind of excited about it because it's going to be released in um, two albums. Yeah, so we, we created it and we found out that there were too many songs and we mm -hmm. loved the songs, so we didn't want any to get lost in right. just one album. So we thought, okay, we'll just split it up in two albums. But we also wanted them to connect because right. the themes connect. So we were like, okay, so we're going to name them the same. One, they're going to be called Resonate. Resonate's going to be the title track. And um, so we're going to call one Resonate, A Ripple to a Wave, and then the second one, Resonate. A spark into a flame. Resonate, obviously, I mean, as you could probably hear in, in the chorus, it's basically about resonating God's love. Yeah, yeah, and, and it's talking about us as believers and how um, it starts with just one of us mm -hmm. resonating God's love, and then if we do that, we're like a drop into the, an ocean, and it starts a ripple effect, and we and we all That's start. Incredible. Yeah. Yeah. That's so good in the world right now to have people like the two of you and the sisters that are out there doing positive things. And there's so much bad things in the world that gets taken over and gets yeah. shared on social media. Mm -hmm. To have something remarkable like that, when you imagine a drop of water going in the ocean and eventually it's big waves and yeah. waves of goodness. That's awesome. Good yeah. for you. I like. Thanks. I love what y'all do. I, I've always had for the past couple of years. Thank yeah. you. Now, I know that something else you're doing is movie stuff. So let's right. talk about the movie that you're doing. You guys are getting into acting. Yeah. Yeah, we're really excited. We are in um, the movie God not dead too. In this day and age, people seem to forget that the most basic human right of all is the right to believe. Praise God! Praise! Praise God! Praise! No prayers. No moments of silence. Nothing. Think of the other children out there who are subjected to their repressive belief system. If we sit by and do nothing, the pressure that we're feeling today will mean persecution tomorrow. We're at war. What makes nonviolence so radical is its unwavering commitment to a nonviolent approach. Isn't that sort of like what Jesus meant when he said that we should love our enemies? Yes. You have heard it said, love your neighbor and hate your enemy. But I tell you, love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you. One of your students sent a text to their parents. Did this happen? If you're asking whether I responded to a student's question, yes. And your answer incorporated the words of Jesus. What were you thinking, Grace? The Thollies are asking that you be fired, plus revocation of your teaching certificate. How do we make this go away and not get blood on our hands? We let the ACLU do it. We're going to prove once and for all that God is dead. I'm ignoring the matter of Thollie versus Wesley. 
Mr. Kane will insist faith isn't on trial here. But that is exactly what is on trial. You're looking to prove that Jesus Christ existed? Oh, that's ridiculous. I hate what people like your clients stand for and what they're doing to our society. You're under arrest. These people, they're looking to destroy you. Everyone's telling me to stay out of it. What is your heart telling you to do? I would rather stand with God and be judged by the world than stand with the world and be judged by God. I am not going to be afraid to say the name Jesus. If we're going to insist that a Christian's right to believe is subordinate to all other rights, then it's not a right. Listen, you are out of order. I charge you with contempt. I accept the charge because I have nothing but contempt for these proceedings. God's not dead. He's surely alive. He's So no, going... wait a minute. Is it really coming out? It yes, really is it's coming out. Not a joke. Okay. <laughs> but um, yeah, and so the uh, premiere is in LA, and so we'll be going out to LA in March. And the wedding. I, yeah, the premiere is like a few weeks before it, it comes out, so it'll be a lot of fun. Very hyped up. I imagine you're yeah. going to do one of your selfies that you're so good at. Right. Where you just, <laughs> yeah. There are a thousand maybe. people behind yeah. you. If we don't see one from the red carpet, we're going to be we're disappointed. Gonna be disappointed. Okay. Okay. Can you okay. tag us in it even though we're not in it? <laughs> yeah. Please? Yeah. Okay, that'd be great. Right. Well, and you guys were doing a tour, and that's kind of how you heard about this. So tell people about that, because that's kind of exciting. Yeah, so um, the executive producer of God's Not Dead uh, wanted to put together this tour of millennial age artists who would be singing and speaking about defending your faith, mm -hmm. much like Which is the movie. Yeah. Um, and so he put together these artists, and we are one of them, some of them. And yeah. and yeah, we're really excited. We actually go out in March before the the movie mm -hmm. releases, mm -hmm. so the tour is all through. But Tommy's incredible mm -hmm. with that story with defending us, the, ourselves as Christians. Mm -hmm. Right now, we never thought years ago you'd have to do this. Right. So I think his part too may may bring a little bit more home than yeah. maybe even the first one did, which was yeah. just this. Who's the big lead actor in there that we recognize the name of? Melissa Joan Hart. That's pretty there. awesome. So it was really cool to. To, to be see in the same her, room yeah. with her and be acting along with her. And yeah. Just, and you guys were life. like students and then mm -hmm. the choir. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 We were students who obviously we had different roles as students. You know, we had different scenes that you know, in the high school and then outside of the high school. So things like that. So yeah. it, was, it was really fun. We're excited for y'all. Yeah. Tell everybody yeah. where they can find you, find your music, keep up with your album. Where's it available? Yeah. Give, us, give us the whole thing. Yeah. Um, You can find all of our stuff on our website. So we are on all social media. So if you just Google us, we'll be there. Seriously, on all life. social media. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You guys are great about social media. I'm Thanks. proud. So, Thank like, you. Yeah. yeah. Everywhere. So just Google Love Collide, and we'll be there. And there, we have one album that's already out, and be looking out for the next one. Yep. Nice. That's great. So this Love Collide, I hope you enjoyed their music. Be sure and look them up. We have lots of links to all their music. You're going to find them. You're going to love them. And now you're going to see them on the silver screen. Thanks for coming in for Nashville Entertainment Weekly. Thank you, Lauren Brooke. Yeah. You guys are awesome. Thank you. Thank you. TJ TV, Nashville's number one entertainment network. Hey everybody, this is TJ Cates again in the studio, the 515. I am here with Nashville Entertainment Weekly, TJ TV. Who am I here with today? Jill Sanabinez and Steve Alexander. Now you've seen Steve on our shows for the past couple years. I mean, he's changed his look a little bit, but it's still the same guy. And you actually went on solo, man. You're, you're kicking it all over Nashville yeah. today here. Absolutely. I'm excited to do it. So I was doing the duo thing for a little while and um, a partner kind of took a little break. So. It I'm happens. Yeah. yeah. We're glad like, you're sticking to it. Exactly. You know, you remember when One Direction lost uh, Zane? Do you, you just compare it? <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. It's, it's actually kind of a bigger deal than that. So, yeah. No, just kidding. No, but it's actually, it's cool to just kind of do your own thing. You know, okay. you sit down, you're, you're writing your own music and, and you know, it's, it's great to do it both ways, but I've never actually done it this way. So it's, uh, it's cool to nice. see this side of it. So. Now, today you're going to play a really good song. We're going to go into it fairly, fairly quickly because I'm anxious to hear what it sounds like. Yeah. Um, tell us about the song you're going to sing today. So the song's called Blue Angels. Um, I don't know if anybody's been to a fleet week of any sort, but if you go and see the Blue Angels fly, it's, it's a really cool yeah. It's incredible. Yeah, it's, it's amazing. And this feeling that you get, but uh, I, I took it from the point of view of being with this girl that you're in love with and kind of young It's always love. about a girl with you. It man. has to be, man. That's it has so to funny. be. <laughs> um, but, you know, you can tell, you can tell a love story from just like it's young love being out at this fleet week thing and it's some really cool imagery cool. going on so it's it's a really cool song i really like it um i'm i'm proud to uh, proud to have written it so 
Well, let's take you to the studio and let's get going. Sounds good. All right, we're going to break away right now. Steve Alexander on Nashville Entertainment Weekly. My name is Steve Alexander, and this is called Blue Angels. At the pier Saturday, sun sparkling on the bay. Old friends and the only love I know. Drinking beer and new tattoos, F-18s roaring through, passing noise that was only me and her. Silver band tied round her head, aviators burning red, long hair flying in the wind. Past the Golden Gate that night, the Blue Angels' final flight. To this day, I wish it didn't end. Well, I was feeling higher than those fighters. Jets forming diamonds in the sky. Holding her hand, lost in her smile. We were broke, we didn't know where the road to hell would go. Falling in love in the city by the bay. Every time I think about that day I think about that girl and blue angels flying away and That sand in the hourglass disappeared into too damn fast A Young love and it needs a thing to hold No, no I could still see that fleet of hornets Blue sky that brisk old morning And it hits me like a sonic boom Silver band tied round her head the Aviators burning red Long hair flying in the wind Past the golden gate that night The blue angels final flight to this day, I wish it didn't end. Cause I was feeling higher than those fighters. Jets forming diamonds in the sky, holding her hand, lost in her smile. We were broke, we didn't know where the road to hell go. Falling in love in the city by the bay. Every time I think about that day I see her face Oh, I was feeling higher than those fighters Jets forming diamonds in the sky Holding her hand lost in her smile We were broke, we didn't know time I think about that day think about that girl in blue angels flying away TJTV Nashville's number one entertainment network and we're back at Nashville Entertainment Weekly filming here at the 515 for TJTV we just watched the uh, performance, the live solo performance. Yeah, it was great. Yeah, thank you so much. I liked it, man. Yeah. Now, like I said, it's always about a girl, and this has a great story. Tell everybody what, where these lyrics came from. I mean, what kind of brought it all together? Was it a real girl, or was it kind of maybe some stories thrown together? Well, it, it was some stories thrown together. Definitely, um, I've, I'm from Northern California, San Francisco area. So Very we have, cool. uh, yeah, we have the Fleet Week that goes on over there around the pier, and um, so I've been out there a few times, and uh, and like once with a girl, but you know, it, I, I always thought it would be cool to write a song, kind of tying that all together, just like this one, this young love thing. So, you know, you, you kind of get that in the song when you're listening to it. And, and I think it's got the great lyrics for a good, a good music video. 
Yeah, absolutely. I've always thought that if I could, if I can go and shoot a music video in San Francisco. Yeah, like, exactly. Because you're like on the out. Yeah, what oh, would it yeah. cost to book the Blue Angels for a day? It can't be that much. It can't be that much. Why not? Much. Just we're gonna for give a music them, video. We're going to yeah. give them free, you know, everybody will know their name by the end of the video. We'll so. let them take they, a picture with you. I mean, yeah, absolutely. They, I think they'd be cool with it. One yeah. day, <laughs> one day it'll happen. All you do is call them, it's going to happen. Heck yeah. <laughs> I'll make it happen. Okay, now you're doing something different now. You're starting to play out around Nashville. What, what's your plan with that? Um, so I'm going to start getting into a lot of writers nights. So um, you'll see those kind of everywhere. Like um, we played, I played taps before with, uh, with the thing that I was doing before. And yep. then um, we had you there. Yes. Mm -hmm. absolutely. For one of our events. Yeah. CMA week, maybe. Yep. Yep. Yeah, CMA week. And then unauthorized um, CMA. Unauthorized. Yeah, exactly. That we was made cool, it work. That was a cool gig. Yeah. That was really fun. It was fun. That was really fun. Um, and then there's uh, like third, um, not third ones, I'm sorry. Uh, the listening room uh, is that's a great location. Great. Really mm -hmm. cool writers' night. So great stage. Um, absolutely. And then, um, you know, there's. I mean, you see these writers' nights all over the place. So uh, yeah. I'll definitely. I mean, I'll post it on my Facebook anytime that something comes up. And we actually have John Nemeth, who's going to be here soon. He does a writers' night. Oh really? Yeah. He does one at Back Alley Diner. He's done one for a long time. Mm -hmm. Very you cool. You guys should definitely. Cool yeah. He's introduced us to a lot of artists. So, like Marcelo, he has one. Mm -hmm. um, I can't tell you which week it is. On a Tuesday, yeah. he'll correct me and he scares me. Yeah. So, Rock Marcello has one at Brentwood. Mm -hmm. It's Sheridan Which Four is another Points. good location. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's really important, man, you know, to know your audience. I think it's almost right. better to go with maybe an audience of 30 or 40. But because it, it, the closer you get to downtown, man, and you're just, it's tourists that'll never see you again. Yeah. So yeah. it, it's tricky. You want to be heard. It's true. Yeah. And they want to hear cover songs out there anyway. So, yeah. you gotta, what's your favorite cover song? My Kate, oh man. Everybody has a favorite. It's probably Eric Church, Springsteen. That's a pretty good song. Yes, do you know that song? I, I met Eric Church when I worked at Kane with you. Oh yeah. And yeah. we're gonna talk about that story later. Oh yeah, you guys yeah, work together. That's Not funny. a fan anymore. No, that's uh, not really a fan. Yeah. I do have his number if you want it, you can buy him. <laughs> he's, the, he's cool, that was, that was the George yeah. Strait thing. He plays some yeah. great songs. He's, yeah, he's really talented. I'm just messing with him. He's okay, he's okay, it's forgiven. He's, he's an all right guy. So yeah. is the song that, that you sang today, is it gonna be available on iTunes soon? Where can people find it? It will be on iTunes, yes, and I'm going to get that all set up here um, just uh, in the near future. So, yeah, that'll definitely be up on the Facebook page. That's You're on your way, man. I can't wait to catch up with you again yeah. and yeah. hear what all's going on. And Absolutely. Let everybody find your music and find the solo artists. Very cool. Yeah, yeah that's excited. great. Well, thanks for coming in today. Yeah, thank cool. you for being here today. Yes, thank you so much for having me. Looking this forward to doing it again. Been TJ Cates. Yeah. Jill Sanavanez and Steve Alexander. Tune in every Friday night at uh, 1030 on the station, TJ TV, Channel 49. TJ TV, Nashville's number one entertainment network. Hey everybody, this is TJ Cates again with Nashville Entertainment Weekly, TJ TV, and we are here with my good friend John Nemeth and... And Jill Sanvinez. There we go. Yeah. I'm just excited about you being here, man. You know, mm -hmm. we touch base a lot on Facebook and then we text yeah. every once in a while, but I know you're as busy as we are and you're promoting so many artists, so we're hoping we can talk about what all you do at the Back Alley Diner. Right. At your singer-songwriter night. Well, we do, uh, we have... Th basically three shows a month. We do first and third Tuesdays. We have a regular, just a songwriter night. It's either like a single or a duet, you know, sometimes a trio. But then about six months ago, we started a new thing on the first Wednesday of every month. We do a songwriter and their band night. We oh, have very cool. Four bands, 30 minutes each. We start at eight o'clock on the first Wednesday. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's really been just a whole different concept in that, yeah, you can bring bands into a, into a writer's night, but it's just too much trying to get everybody It is in too and much because we've done some and, and it's, it's too much. Yeah. Well, the good thing about it is it gives you practice every single week and you're actually going to play a, a original song for us that you just wrote. Yeah, it's called... This, uh, this may be the first place that it's ever been heard. Uh, well, yeah. televised. Well, I know yeah. we're the first person yeah, on yeah, But it's only like a month old, too. Yeah, first it's time a baby. out, out it's of the a baby world. song. Yeah. yeah. Tell uh, us about it. It's called Mama, Please Don't Cry For Me. And uh, I wrote it with a friend of mine, Mike Cool. He moved down here a couple years from uh, ago from New Jersey. And he's just a good songwriter. He's just got all these words and all the time. We just we just get together every once in a while. We probably wrote like three or four songs together. And it's just like every time we get together, we pop out a pretty decent song. So it's, it's fun. Well, we're at the 515 Studios, which is definitely, in my personal opinion, the best studio oh, that's yeah. going on right Great. now. We share the commercials. We want you to go to the website. And if you're an independent artist and you want to get on stage and you're good, contact John Nemeth and we're gonna put his website and everything up. If you wanna get in, and even if you have one guitar, one song, and you wanna get in and record it, 515 Studios is a great place. Let's break right into your music. Yeah, All right. Ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Okay. TJ TV, Nashville's number one entertainment network. My name's John Nemeth, and this song is called Mama Don't Cry For Me. 
It was co-written with a buddy of mine, Mike Cool. First time that I came home, had a little too much to drink. I could see the tears in her eyes. Mama didn't say a word, so disappointed she just kept on praying. I'd get a known and please mama, stop crying for me. Mama, keep praying for me. Good times are coming, you'll see. I put away the bottle, liquor and the lies. Now I don't see those tears in your eyes. So mama, you can stop crying for me. Last time that I came home, whiskey on my breath thought she was leaving for good she didn't break down like I thought she would she just turned and walked away I understood said baby stop crying for me baby keep praying times are coming, you'll see. I put away the bottle, liquor and the lies, now I don't see the tears in your eyes, so baby, stop crying for me. Life's got its reasons, its rhythms, and its rhymes. Somewhere in the middle, that's where I'll be. Another lesson learned the hard way, but that's what set me free. And now no one is crying for me. Mama, keep free. Good times are coming, you'll see. I put away the bottle, liquor and lies. Now I don't see those tears in your eyes. So, mama, you can stop crying for me. I say, mama, you can stop crying for me. And we're back, man. What a great performance! You're such great. a you're, you're like a young legend, is what I would I would imagine you being here. It reminds me of like old school country because we were driving back from Mississippi from your parents' house, and mm -hmm. we were hearing old school country. You said the kind that your dad used to listen to. It was like the Outlaws, the Willie yeah. and Waylon, and, and all Little those guys. Word in there. Yeah, I mean that's what I grew up on. You know, my mom and dad they weren't big music people, but they listened to good music. Everybody, you know, they had good LPs, good records. I used to listen to their records mm -hmm. all the time. All the old country, George and Tammy, and you know, all that stuff. And it was, that's what I grew up on, you know? George Jones, Tammy Wynette, just so you know who he's talking about. <laughs> we joke about some of the things that I know. And, you know, because she's from California and I'm from the South and there's different ways that you do. But yeah. country music back then, I mean, they're pretty legendary and they played everywhere. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. And now they get older and they all became actors, which is kind of funny. Chris <laughs> right. Christopherson, yeah. he's great in movies. Yeah. Glenn Campbell, mm -hmm. he was great in a lot of movies. He was in True Grit with John Wayne. Yeah. So let's talk about uh, let's talk about the writing and the ways that you're you're running with the new writing partner and the one you just wrote that song with. You're telling us a funny story. Yeah, me and Mike, we get together every once in a while, and uh, he's I don't know, he's just he's always got a lot of words, you know. And we wrote just one song. That's important. It That's is. Important. Yeah. It is. But sometimes you got to streamline them, you yeah. know. Mm -hmm. But we were we were writing this one song. It's called Bottles and Bar Stools, and uh, we got the verses and the chorus, and then he had like all these thoughts. You know, and it's like we couldn't put him into verse. Too, didn't yeah, 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 we couldn't put it into a verse. We couldn't make another chord. You know, so we just like had this whole section in there where he just kind of like it was like a rap kind of thing yeah. all the way down through. So it was, it was pretty neat. But that's the way. That, I wish I could remember who it was that was talking, that was singing the song yesterday. That was doing the the words in there, and it kind of mm -hmm. has meaning, and they go back and forth. 
Well, um, all right, let's talk about your Songwriter Night. What's the website? It's www.songwriterlive.com. And it's live, and it's songwriter. So it's, but you're actual being a songwriter's with that. Right, my show is actually Songwriters Live showcase but the website only yeah you get only yeah, the there's no s in the website that's okay yeah. so i just want to clear that up yeah, for everybody. songwriterlive.com and you're down there twice a month at the back alley diner yep and, and that's in nashville yeah it's it's right off of union street between third uh fourth and fifth it's cool. fairly close for people that are coming from out of town we get calls i know you do too i get calls and yes. emails every week hey we're coming to nashville where can we go it's like go to broadway have fun but you want to go hear some yeah. original and you're close yeah. to Printer's Alley. You're a block over. We're a block over. It's an arcade alley is actually what it's called. If anybody knows where the peanut place is down there, yeah. the there arcade alley is right up from there. So you can walk to Broadway. You can hear music. Right. You can go yeah. up to Printer's Alley. You can come yeah. to Back Alley Diner. They can go to your website. Yeah, okay. we get a lot of people come in like before they're going to T-Pack or going right. to the hockey game or whatever. They'll come in. They'll eat, you know, listen to an hour. They hour have and great half food there, oh, man. Great food. Great prices. Great, great staff, yeah. It's a, and it's kind of hidden, so it's not on the, you're not going to have tons and tons of people. Right. So you can't Craziness, like get yeah. around in. And it's tell, a, tell everybody, I was going to say, the importance of songwriter nights, because not everybody knows. No, I mean, you know, it's not just going out there and, and singing. That's It's, you meet people from like literally all over the world. I mean, right. I've had people from Russia, Canada, Australia, London. I mean, I can't even name all the countries. I've had people come sing at my show and literally probably every state in the union. So, I mean, you're meeting people and then, you know, I'll see on Facebook, I'll see this guy and this guy that met at my show. Uh -huh. Networking. Get networking, get yeah. together, writing, starting bands and this and that. And it's, it's really cool. We just introduced you to Steve Alexander, an artist that used to be a duo. Right, he's great. Because we told him, we said, this is one of the main guys in Nashville mm -hmm. to know is John Nemeth because you know everybody, man. You said when you moved here, you didn't know mm -hmm. anybody. I didn't know anybody. I drop your name sometimes and somebody yeah. always knows of you. So good yeah, I guess you, in, the, in the five years, I started July 9th which is my daughter's birthday. I started July 9th. Happy birthday, Sweet. July 9th. 2011, that's when I started my show. So, you know, we're almost up to five years and it's just incredible. It's growing and growing. Oh, yeah. I started off, you know, maybe 10, 15 writers in my database and I'm up to like 775. Oh, which that's is great. Crazy. That's awesome. Crazy. We'll keep it up. We want everybody to come to your songwriter nights. We're going to tell them again about your website and then they're going to hear your music. So thanks for coming in, man. Thanks for having me. Great having you at the 525 it. studio. Great come see us. JTV, Nashville's number one entertainment network. Hey everybody, we're so excited that you're watching our show, Nashville Entertainment Weekly. You can catch the show every Friday night from 10.30 to 11 on Channel 49, TJTV. We have another show coming on Sunday morning we want to tell you about. Yes, uh, every Sunday morning from 10 a.m. to 10.30 a.m. we have our real estate television show and it's called Music City Real Estate Weekly. It's here at Exit Realty Elite in Nashville in the Gulch and we work with uh, two other wonderful realtors, Misty and Kel, so be sure to tune in every Sunday for Music City Real Estate Weekly. Thanks for tuning in to TJTV. TJTV, Nashville's number one entertainment network. Join us at the cool table where everyone wants to be. The 515 is a spacious, fully functional, state-of-the-art recording studio located in the township of Berry Hill in Nashville, Tennessee. We have been serving songwriters and recording artists worldwide since 2002. Our creative goal is to continue to provide the highest quality and most competitive music products and services for our clients. Our business ideal is to always treat others with the love, respect, and dignity we feel all persons deserve. We faithfully continue our daily resolve of providing our clientele great music and fair prices with honesty and integrity. I was searching to find someone I could truly come on. I was running away from a lonesome insecurity that you were. Seems so clear.